Hello and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sad day today. I'm checking out of my place. <laughs> See, everything's crying because it's all frosted. So you can feel how sad I am. <laughs> but yeah, checking out today, just packing up the car. I have so much stuff. I don't even know how I'm going to squeeze it all into my bags. It's going to be an effort. Yeah, this one goes out to Sydney. There you go. There you go. Am I, am I, am I cold weather worthy yet or what? I think I am. I'm pretty sure I am. It's supposed to be nice and sunny on Sunday when I fly out. So no flight delay, hopefully. So I don't really feel like been stuck at an airport for god knows how long. Alright, there we go. And you just bang it off like that. And you put it back over here. This is the one that the landlord let me um, let me use for the month. Because she's a nice lady. Anyway, I'm going to go and pack the car and get the hell out of here. Go and put some petrol in the car and uh, go to a car wash and clean it up nice and vacuum it. Go and do some last final minute shopping things and then return the car and yeah. All right, the inevitable goodbye is happening. Everything is nice and clean. I've taken pretty much everything I can. I'm so tired. God, my oh, eyes probably all bloodshot. Yeah, I'm what? The the yeah. Taking everything I can. So I guess we'll just go ahead and do the old turn the lights off thing, and that'll be it. Goodbye, little home. You treated me really good for a month. Yeah, I really liked it here. This was a nice place. I get everything out of the shower. Yeah. Alright. That one. Gonna turn the heaters off. Hi. Can I turn this one off in here? Probably not. So yeah. Pretty heartbreaking actually, knowing that um, I have to go home soon. Uh, all right, last lights. I'm gonna cry. Fucking hell. Grab my banana. And there we go. Bye, house. That's a lot of guts and determination to be out in negative five degrees Celsius weather running along a country road. That's that, that, yeah. That's testicular fortitude right there. I applaud you, sir. I'm in Target doing the last moment possible shop. I have about an hour and a half to spare. And I've got the list of chocolate that I'm taking home. And Anus wanted this hair color because they don't have it in Australia yet or something like that. She wanted to try it out. But yeah, could go to Sephora and get a couple more things for Anus. And then, I don't even know, she had one more thing for me to do. But yeah, this is the last thing. I've already done the petrol. Got to do the car wash and drop the car off. So house is done. The car will be done soon. <sighs> I think I'll eat all this candy before I um before I even get to leave. Yeah. Drown my sorrows. But yeah, <sighs> I really don't want to go. I mean, I miss the girls like crazy, but I don't want to go. Ooh, mirrors, spooky. <laughs> yeah, I like it here so much. <laughs> Let me stay. Fucking kicking myself last night. You know, I went to Woodbury the last few days to the factory outlets place. Yeah, I had to look last night on the internet to find out where exactly it was. Because I knew I was driving across the river towards the western side of New York State. And I just didn't know where it was, if I was still in the same county that I'm in or not, if I changed. Kicking myself because I figured out that Woodbury is in Orange County. Orange County. And I'm like, ah, oh, I wonder if Orange County Choppers is in Orange County. Of course it is, isn't it? So to so anybody that watches Orange County Choppers, like back in the day, I used to watch it when it first started, before all the rift and the feuds and all the bullshit that came of it and, and father and son split and things like that, where OCC was OCC. I could have visited Orange County Choppers sometime this month. 
I could have gone to their big ass store, their big ass warehouse, everything. I looked on their website last night. They do shop tours during the day while they're working for like $12 to walk through the tour or something like that with tour groups. I could have seen all the freaking people fabricating and working on bikes. Kicking myself. It would have been so cool. So yeah, I could have got an OCC beanie and everything. So yeah, dickhead, number one, right here. That's me, dickhead. Right dickhead, me. Yeah, so that would have been cool to go to, but it doesn't matter, next time. So this is gonna be a bit of an experience. I'm going through a fully automatic car wash. It's called a soft, soft touch, so it's got like the brushes and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like a, you drive in nice and slow, nice and slow. The thing is, I haven't actually done one of these for like five years, so this is going to be strange to say the least, so yeah, we'll see how this turns out. I don't know, this is going to be a bit freaky. I hope it cleans the car because yeah, the car's really dirty. Oh shit, here we go. What the frick is that? Oh, pre-wash. I mean, I'll keep going until the arrow tells me to stop, I guess. Up. Okay. Oh, shit. I do not know what's going on right now. It's about to get messy. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, spray me, baby. Spray me. Ah, oh, spray me. Oh, yeah, all over. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on here? Oh, this is cool. Have you ever seen somebody so fascinated about a um, car wash? Probably not. Seriously. I do all... I do all manual car washes and things. I haven't done an automatic one in like... Whoa! What the frick? That is cool! Oh, look on the back. Hey, you're not touching my windscreen. Worst car wash. Oh, down the side. It's like, it, it's like going through a tornado. It's a freaking twister. Ah, twister. That's really, that's really cool. I, I, I like you. All right, now what? Okay, it's going around the back. Oh, get that ass. Get that ass. Oh. That was the dirtiest part too. You got a dirty ass. <laughs> Okay, so now... Oh, it's going all the way around. I thought it did that side already. Ah, the twister! <laughs> I do apologise if you find this mildly boring, but this is amusing to me. Yeah, so if you just want to skip ahead, go for it. Otherwise, yeah, you can watch. Because I'm going to... Oh. Oh. Oh, there's water going underneath. Oh! I hope it didn't take up a couple of layers of paint then. Jesus tits. Oh, you getting my wheels? Oh, get my wheels. Get all on my wheels. Hup. Now what's happening? Oh, what's this stuff? It's all blue. Is this like the, the, the polish? Or is this just the soapy? Oh shit. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like bubble gum. <sighs> Look at that. It's so pretty. Can't see anything now though. The Twister! <laughs> Anus, I'll record this whole thing. If you want to edit it, feel free to do so. If you didn't edit it, hi everybody watching! <laughs> oh, this is so funky. Oh. Oh, 
Dead ass. Dead ass. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, does that mean I get through to go through like the air dryer thing? Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, if I get to go through the air dryer thing, that'd be awesome. Oh. Now what the hell's going on? Oh, rinse? This is amazing. I just want to point out that all this car wash was eight bucks. Oh! I don't know. Is that blow dry in the car? Looks like it's blow dry in the car to me! <laughs> it's like a 747! Air drying! So there we go, we've got undercarriage, slope application, wheel cleaning, colour polish, butt free rinse, and air drying. I didn't get the surface protectant. Wow! Does it come back again? Here we go, ready? Let's have a quick look before we untake off. Wow, look how clean the wheels are. I mean, a bit of slope here and there, but that's to be expected. That's just brilliant. And look at the back, it cleaned off all that crap. Oh, oh didn't get all the fuel though. I'm not really fussed about that. I was like that when I got the car. But there you go. Not a bad $10 car wash, eh? That was worth it. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs>